Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, find out how much money is left in an account after it looks like eight years when it's, the interest is compounded annually here. So let's go ahead and write this out first. I'm going to show you guys two different ways to do this, uh, but it really is the same thing. So uh, notice what you start out with is $2,200. Then what you're going to do is you're going to add 7% to that. So 7% of $2,200, we'll have to multiply that by 0 0.07 like this. Now what this would do is this would tell you how much money you have after the first year. And if we plug that in, it should give us the answer, which is $2,354. So for the second year, since this is compounded annually, we need to take that $2,354 and we'll repeat this process for the second year. So again, plugging this into a calculator would give us the answer very quickly at $2,518.78. Now that was for year two. For year three, we're going to use now this new value from year two uh, because again, this is compounded annually. We're going to do and just pretty much re repeat the same process. So notice once again, I've taken that value. I've added to itself times this 0 0.07, which is the z uh, 7 percent. I'm going to do the next, because uh, this is eight years, we've got to do this five more times in order to find the answer to this. I'll write that out for you, okay? So I'm going to show you how that looks. If you want to, you can pause the video and take a look at how that worked each time. Again, it's just going to repeat, but with these new values from each year. All right, so this is what I have for all eight years. Notice we have each year individually. Uh, we've got years one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is here in pink. So that would be the dollar value of your account after eight years. Notice the increase, all right? The increase is not linear as it increases, right? Uh, from year to year, it increases by more, and that's because the numbers are getting higher that we're using for each year. But there's a different way to do this, which may be a little bit easier for you depending on how you view this, okay? So let's consider this original problem. And this is a unit about exponents, right? So as it turns out, we can use an exponent in order to solve this problem rather quickly. So we'll start with this 2200, right? And from there, we're going to multiply this by 0 0.07. That represents the 7% interest. However, uh, what we really want to do is just take that and multiply it by 1.07. The reason that is, is because when we add that 7% on to the original amount, it means that we have the original amount, which is 100%, plus the 7%, which is 107%. So that's where this comes from, that 1.07. But how many times are we going to multiply it by 1.07? Well, it's, we're going to repeat this process for eight years. So, uh, what's built into this type of uh, expression is that uh, since it's 2200 times 107 uh, percent, as if we did that one time, it would give us the amount we made after one year. But since we're multiplying it again, which is what the exponent is, it's, we're just multiplying this 2200 by 107% again and again and again eight times, it means that we don't have to worry about any of those other values. So it's just a really quick way to find the answer to, to a problem like this. And if you put that into a calculator, you'll get pretty much the same thing. So notice I got $3,780.01 where in the previous example we had three thousand seven hundred eighty dollars even and the reason for that is because this is a little bit more accurate 
taking into account the decimals or the pennies. Whereas in the previous example, the way that I did it, I would round to the pennies each for each year value that I found. So that's the reason for the difference, but it's still pretty much the same. And hopefully you guys can see how that works, right? It's 107% for eight years, and we just multiply that by the principal amount, which was $2,200.